Hey everybody, welcome back to the cabin. Winter is definitely here. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of snow and the temperatures are well below seasonal right now. Quite cold out here and so nothing's melting. And I ended up having to dress warmly for the entire day while I was working outside. Um, if you want to see what I was up to, just go to the, the other channel and check that out. I was uh, butchering a, a bear and preparing sort of a outdoor meat locker for the winter to store it in. Anyway, while I was working today, I, I was thinking about um, um, just all the things that I'm doing, and and I guess this is typical of a Friday, actually, is that when I upload my Friday morning video, I spend an hour at least in the morning, have my coffee and breakfast, reading your comments, and then on uh, and then later in the day, I'll just check in, and it always gets me to thinking, just seeing people's reactions, hearing your stories, and and hearing your comments, good and bad. And uh, it d does cause me to reflect, and I was thinking about um, what it was. This video in particular was the two hour long video, which was a summary of the last year that I spent building the sauna. And as I was editing that video, it really, I don't know, it, I like editing those types of videos because I get to look at a snapshot of sort of, of my life over a course of a year or more than a snapshot, a summary of my life over a course of a year on one particular project or or uh, maybe the overall thing that I'm doing here. And it causes me to sort of to reflect on my life prior to starting this. And I wonder about the my fulfillment then and now, or then compared to now. Um, I know now I feel fully content and fully satisfied with where I am at in my life and what I'm doing every day. And I didn't feel that way for the previous, say, 25 years, despite, well, longer than that, far longer than that. I remember struggling as a teenager to fit in and struggling as a young 20-year-old, 20-something-year-old, uh, trying to find my way in the world and finding it very um, depressing and difficult. So, um, I really, I'm finding contentment now in my life, despite the fact that I had an awesome 20 years of marriage and raising my, my uh, two daughters fantastic daughters and still married to my wonderful wife as well <laughs> Kelly chewing on a stick <laughs> what are you doing silly dog um, so it's meaningful and satisfying as that was raising a family the part that was not satisfying the part that I didn't find meaning is was my work life and I think that's typical for most people and to some degree, it's irrelevant because we have responsibilities and we have responsible to, responsibility to our family to provide. So that comes first, it comes before our own um, needs and, and wants. But it doesn't change the fact that it's not very fulfilling and a lot of people actually end up having very unsatisfied, um, unsatisfying um, family life during that period as well because they aren't finding enough meaning in the rest of their life to be content and therefore can't be the best person they can be for their family. The question I keep asking myself is why was I not feeling fulfilled and why are so many people not feeling fulfilled and why are so many people depressed in this day and age when we have so much, we have such good um, infrastructure and good, good, uh, pretty good lives regardless of what are, your position is position of people in my own family that's still pretty good compared to um, most of the uh, of our past history so well, I'm, so again what what was not meaningful about my life i had a decent job i was paid well at a decent house uh, to live in i had reliable vehicles had uh, two wonderful daughters and a wife and sisters that are still healthy and parents that are still alive and healthy and still are to this day so what what's unfulfilling about that and what's un not meaningful and I've come to the conclusion that um, I think laziness ends up being the, the biggest uh, detractor from our lives and from my life. And even though I'm not a lazy person by nature, when I think about... It, this is hard to explain because it's not like I didn't fill my time with things. So I went to work, let's say before I started my own business, I went to work and put in an eight or nine hour day five days a week and then had the weekends off to myself and the evenings off to myself and to, to my family um, the problem with the way society is set up now is that we don't really need to do anything during that leisure time that downtime when we're not at work 
and certainly not things that are required in order to um, to survive or to, to thrive directly that we're directly responsible for. So in other words, I'd go to work, I'd come home um, many times, especially when we were busy taking taking our daughters to uh, their soccer uh, games and music lessons. You know, eating on the road, so we just go to um, to a fast food joint and and on the you know, drive through and and have food provided for us. Um, turn on the heat when we got home, and, or the air conditioning, depending on the season. You know, turn off, flick on the lights, and then sit down and watch TV for two or three hours every night, and, or now on the internet. So things that things didn't need to be done. It was not a necessity to keep active and to keep doing something that I have a direct uh, re response to. So a direct reward for doing that function, performing that function. So here now what's happening is that I get up in the morning, I start a fire or maintain the fire or get a fire going outside to make my breakfast and a coffee. And I, um, then I go and do something else, either go for a walk or go for a drive to <laughs> Sorry, I said the walk word, W word. We are out for a walk, except I'm stationary right now talking to you. She doesn't like that. Um, yeah, so just not. Um, so I, I keep busy doing things that I need to do in order to survive or thrive, not things that I'm just looking to fill time with, fill that empty space with. So and that's that those um, empty leisure time that leisure time that we fill with less meaningful things watching somebody else do something <laughs> unfortunately don't want to discourage you from watching my youtube channel youtube videos but watching somebody else do something rather than doing it herself or you know the proliferation of video games it's the largest um, uh, entertainment industry in the world now people immersing themselves in avatars becoming something else in order to live a life that they're not living um, and trying to find meaning in that which of course is in um it's very surface level it doesn't give us a, a meaning to live as an av avatar through you know a, f a fantasy world so i i think that's it i think that's why i feel f uh, more fulfilled now than i ever have in my life because i am not allowing myself to be lazy because i'm out there sort of um checked out a society on one and I'm still still involved uh, obviously especially as you get out and see friends and family and uh, interacting with um, with you guys online but um, the day-to-day -day, just being outside and doing things uh, dressing for the cold and and chopping that firewood so I can have a fire or to cook a meal uh, going out hunting or fishing and harvesting my own fishing game uh, growing my own food uh, foraging all of these things that um, keep me busy and could seem boring f to somebody maybe who who lives an urban lifestyle and thinks that's too much effort for just something as simple as food but it you know I can't stress uh, I can't even explain enough um, or, or coherently enough t um, why uh, the reward of doing that harvesting and fishing and hunting and foraging whatever is is rewarding it's hard to explain what how that can be that it absolutely is it's our basic biology and i think our urban lifestyles in our very modern society where um, everything comes cheaply and, and abundantly i think is a detriment to our mental health and i see it all around me unfortunately including family members that are struggling with you know finding meaning in their life and finding anything that keeps them interested because there's, you know, although this seems like there's endless opportunities, it's hard to find any with true meaning and laziness stops us from pursuing what's meaningful. We tend to, you know, inertia takes over and we tend to get static and um, can't get up off that couch and do something. And then depression sets in and then depression and anxiety prevent us from getting off that couch as well. So it's, it just, it's a deep cycle, cycle that keeps getting deeper and darker and it's very hard to break that and I, I think um trying to find a way just to not be lazy trying to be motivated uh, watching somebody else maybe doing something like you're watching me um, to motivate you to get up and do something physical and um, getting out in the nature i believe this is important i'm not sure 
I don't think everybody believes it, but I truly believe that getting outside in nature, doing something physical, breathing in that cold air on a day like today, um, exerting yourself, trying to keep yourself warm, uh, struggling through the snow, I think all of those things teach you th to not be lazy and also to breathe in that fresh air and, and reinvigorate your, your health, which is so important when you're trying to um, be more active and not be lazy. I don't know, I find it uh, discouraging or, or uh, it, it sort of gets me down when I hear the stories from, from other people and from family members and friends that are struggling and uh, can't figure out why, but on the other hand aren't able to get um, active and, and try to remedy it themselves and, and instead turning to other people hoping that they can take, um, either help them or that they can blame somebody else for their woes. Difficult, difficult situation. And, I sympathize and empathize. I, I, it's, it's not me, at least at this stage in my life, but I see enough of it that I know it's actually the norm. And you're not abnormal if that's the way you are feeling or that's the way you're going through life right now because that is, I would say it's a majority now. I would say it's a majority not to not be uh, feeling fulfilled and not living what's um, a meaningful life to yourself. So I'm going to continue to try to live as meaningful as I can. I'm going to try to keep myself um, active and motivated to continue on, continue doing this. Not get discouraged with those on those rough days or those days that I get hurt or I'm tired or um, you know, or I'm hearing a, a story from somebody else that's that's got me down a little bit. I just have to work through all of those things and continue to pump myself up and listen to your comments and and the support of my family and friends and and keep moving forward and enjoying life and finding what's meaningful to me so thanks for watching this video i really appreciate it and i look forward to seeing you up at the cabin next time take care